Hey dudes, we are inside the castle walls of my Kingdom on Infinite Heights, and today we're going to be working on the North Wall Admin Shops. It's coming up right now. And just a quick shot to help you kind of figure out where everything is, where we're building today in relation to the rest of the kingdom. You see Castle Valor to the uh, upper left there, and then we zoom in the main street. Zip on past. Oh, yeah. Pretty sweet, right? Yeah. I love showing you guys this, and you're going to love it too. Hello, hello, hello. How you guys doing? You guys doing all right? That's good. I hope you said yeah, we're doing all right. Anyway, um, so here we are. We are uh, on the inside of the north wall, my castle fortress, right? Thing on infinite heights. And uh, I am clearing out the space in the wall where... Basically where the the building is going, the next building is going to kind of push its way through. Because remember, uh, you can see just to the right there, we have that interior, the wall interior is actually also a shopping space. So I'm just kind of setting out the frames, which I cannot, I cannot recommend doing strongly enough. So I'm just placing the frames up and the little details uh, for where the frames meet the actual timber. Going up with some spruce voodoo logs. You guys, check out Corrales every now and again. The dude is a solid builder. Very cool. He says spruce voodoo. Yeah, I mean, you know, basically, what what I th when I'm laying out a frame like this, I know you've got. I know you guys. If you if you've been checking out these let's builds, I know you've seen me make these frames a couple of times. Um. But I think of laying these frames out as drawing a plan for something. And, I mean, I, th I think to do a really great build, you do need to have some level of planning. If that plan is, I'm going to wing it, that's still a plan. You know what I mean? That might may maybe sound a little counterintuitive, but, you know, basically what I'm saying is, when I'm laying this out, okay, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, as I'm laying out this frame, I'm, I'm starting to be able to visualize in my head okay this is how big building is going to be this is how you know this is where the floors are going to be this is where you know the windows are going to be this is where the doors are going to be does that make sense and at every every time i make one of those decisions when i'm making the frame i get i i actually create the opportunity for myself and this is why it's important i create the opportunity for myself to make easy adjustments and the easy adjustments are Oh, I put these five log, uh, these five logs here. Um, maybe they don't need to be there. Let me break five logs because I caught it now, and I understand that doesn't make sense. Versus later when you have the entire building built, and because you didn't use a frame, you built it from the ground up. Okay, and then all of a sudden now you have to tear the entire building down. And who, who is really going to do that? Now, if you're going to make a really great build and be a really great builder, it is my opinion, my very strong, very strong opinion that you have to be unafraid to tear down everything that you're doing and start from scratch if it's not good. That's the only way to ensure that, that what you're doing is true excellence. In my, in my opinion, you have to be fearless like that. And it can be very painful to do that and very annoying to do that. And so, if you limit the opportunities or chances that you have to do that by working with a frame and having a plan then your builds are going to turn out that much better because you can avoid that you you can avoid the temptation and the risk of having to do that you know you can see also here on this frame i uh actually have the frame itself bumped forward uh overhanging the street by a block to create the look that the walls on the inside uh, that the walls themselves are actually recessed or pushed in a block. Oh, for the second and third floors. Obviously not, not for the first floor. Uh, you can see for the first floor I'm putting the, the stair and slab kind of sill treatment at the bottom there. 
You can see the farmable's house right next to it is just kind of straight up. Straight up the sides, the top floor is bumped out one, and this one basically, the top floor is bumped out one, and the, the inside, the lower, the first and second floors are kind of uh, just below it. And so here we are underneath the, in the, in the enclosed, in the covered shopping area, uh, actually underneath the wall itself. And we'll show you, I'll show you the wall later, uh, exactly where it fits in the wall. We were just kind of working out the floor there, and so when I was working on the sand and glass shop, um, I cut out the wall and measured for where the shop would fit, and then I had to put a roll of blocks back, and that was kind of a pain in the buns, and so what I did over here was I thought, you know what, it would be easier if I just tore down the entire space of the wall, and then built the houses, and then filled in just a little bits of the wall in between instead of trying to count the stuff. And so this area has drastically changed uh, on the server right now. If you do go in, if you do hop on and check it out, um, I'm just doing some terraforming. I'm popping this out a little bit here, just to kind of give me some room to throw an extra little bit of shop in there. So we have some dirt kind of cleared out. I'm working for the. I'm working on the floor of the uh, the shopping space that's directly underneath each of the shops. Just throwing those in. It's also kind of the the fact that I cut away the entire wall there kind of gives you a good idea of how how I actually considered the space when I was working on. Uh, creating the shopping, the covered shopping area. It's actually inside the wall. Just run back to my chest real quick and grab some more blocks. Again, I'm not doing this in creative. Uh, I do have fly on the server, and I do use it. But all the materials, again, all the materials I use are materials that. I've collected, gathered, or used the economy on the server to to earn for myself. I'm not using creative for for cheap free blocks. I mean, it, if I was, it would be. It would. It, I'm not saying that would lessen what what the accomplishment is here, because that's not the point. The point isn't how awesome I am at gathering materials. Uh, I'm just saying. Just saying. So I have the pillars here and the basic parts of the frame, and I had three oak frames right next to each other, and I was like, mm, we need to switch one of these up. So before I built the entire again, before I built the entire uh, the entire shop, as you can see over on the left there, I just had a couple logs to remove instead of trying to swap out the color palette of the entire frame of the house after the house was built, which would have been a nightmare. Use a frame. It's easier for me to use a frame here, I guess, because they're just simple square builds. But um, there's no reason you can't build a frame for a circular build or for, you know. I guess a, a pyramid or a triangle. I was trying to think of a triangular build, and I couldn't think of what a triangular build would be. But I, I, I suppose in cross-section a pyramid design could be considered a triangular type of, it, it's not important <laughs> what's important is what's important is to understand the importance of working with a plan of some kind if you don't want to build a frame that's fine i just i find that it's very it serves very real practical purposes so and then seeing this frame and understanding so if you look to the right Okay, if you glance over to the right, I'm, I'm, what I did there was I played with how far in and out to add variety and uniqueness to each of the shops, how far in and out over the street they, they overhang. And so I was like, oh, this one could bump out a little bit, and maybe I'll have some exposed logs look like this. And so I just I pulled it out. And I'm starting to just fill in the walls around, and it's roofing time. So 
So you may be wondering why there is no old oak in here or some crazy looking acacia shop. Uh, this is actually pretty done right around 1.6 point something. 1.6 point two, I want to say. So those logs did not exist yet. They did not yet exist. And yes, I will update. I will update uh, the shops to include those new those new woods because that'll just add even more uniqueness and variety to each shop. And the uniqueness and variety is just first of all, it's it's appealing. It's just pleasing to look at when there's additional variety and uniqueness and stuff. But um, but you know, also it's like. If, if we're if we're if we're in a, a village that we are imagining is an actual village then you know people are going to want their places to look different and they're going to want their places to stand out and be unique and shops especially are like that so they should be and every opportunity every type of building material I get to add in and swap out you know that just kind of heightens that and adds to that realism and detail I'm just starting to fill in the walls here. <laughs> Infinite coming in, saying hello. Hey man, we're actually—I'm actually, actually building these on the server while dudes are playing, while people are asking me to fix grief. So I do have to stop recording occasionally, roll back some grief, losers, stupid griefers, and then fill out a band report and then say hey I think somebody killed one of my sheep and then I gotta go spawn in some sheep and you know it comes with the territory it comes with the territory people are talking to me hey what are you building you know building stuff please uh please don't come in unless you need to infinite hopped on the server and uh <laughs> he hopped on and he just teleported to me immediately without <laughs> Not saying anything and said hey. But it's all good. He's a cool kid. So I'm trying to figure out. Trying to figure out the colors here. Sitting next to each other. So, you know, what should we do? What should we do? So we have wool. We have the clay shop. And what is that middle shop? Hmm. I'm gonna have to let it ride and see. And just finishing up some trim work. Almost done. And here it is. Check it out. Is that sweet or what? The finished North Wall Admin Shops. Ooh, I got my snazzy summer shorts on. Oh, yeah. So let's check it out. See what we got here. So there has been some considerable work done in the admin shop area, and uh, you know we're gonna get to it. We will get to it uh, one day for sure. Um, definitely an upcoming let's build. We're gonna get to it, but uh, let's talk about the north wall, which is what we got here. So we have the lumberjack, which you guys saw, and I made some signs. Okay, some signs, some picture signs. So you can identify from a distance what they are and what they will sell. So uh, in this plot, obviously, again, this is the lumberjack. And then this plot, we're going to have like seeds and vegetables and farmables and those kinds of things. Uh, we're going to have sand, sandstone, glass over here. Uh, and here's going to be the wool shop. We're also going to sell dyes and so forth in there. We have here yellow jello's jewelry. <laughs> uh, what we got for sale in here check these out these are standard prices and they're high and they're meant to be high we could talk about admin shops and why I have the prices set ho set so high for uh, at, at another time but um, so we have that and then we have this uh, infinite pottery which we didn't get to make a fancy a fancy sign for but in here we're gonna be selling 
Uh, as you can see, we're going to be selling clay, stained clay, dyed clay, stained dyed clay. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Uh, anyway, in there. So um, let's go inside one, which is probably my favorite one to go inside. Let's, let's, I don't know, let's go with this one. What do you think? So we come up the steps, okay. We come up the steps, so the, the sale floor, the sales floor is actually going to be here. Uh, players that have earned the access through achieving points through competitions and contests and stuff um, on infinite heights uh, will be allowed to access these upper levels. Okay, and in here there will be additional items for sale that will include, you know, you know, harder to find items maybe, or let's see, not harder to find items necessarily, but sometimes harder to find items. And if you're doing a massive build, you'll be able to order things in larger quantities up here. And then the top floor is saved for both the rarest items and the largest in the largest quantities. Uh, we have kind of a little space up here that I didn't really develop fully because who knows what we could put up there. This is just the top of the steps of the stairs below so it looks normal when we're coming down you know what i'm saying and then we head up here head up this ladder you could fit a bed up here and uh, some paintings and some flowers and flower pots and so on and so forth you know look out see the uh see the court show it's so pretty so pretty uh, with the new 1.8 update in that court shop you know what else we're gonna be selling right you know what else we're gonna be selling right 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 Granite, yep, yeah. yes, all six kinds. There's only three colors, yeah, but they're smooth and the rough kind, you know, you know what I mean. This is a stonemason, it doesn't sell just quartz, obviously, but we'll get to the stonemason at another time. Don't peek, no peeking. There's also some massive improvements to the wall and the gate area. And one of, one of the things that we worked hard on uh, was this whole area, this covered shopping kind of area here, and uh, this is gonna go on and continue in that direction. Um, but basically you have like a little covered shopping mall and this is actually inside the wall and I'm gonna just peek out here so you can see what I'm talking about see it's the wall of the castle right it's this outside wall and this is radically changed by the time we're watching this let's build this whole area here is radically changed and it looks incredible but that was part of a let's build so I can't you know I don't want to get ahead of myself don't want to get ahead of myself but you know there's this awesome well lit kind of shopping area in here we have access to all of those and so forth so uh so yeah what do you guys think huh huh there's some shrubbery some shrubbery in there i just i love the signs you know because the sign because you can see like it's a diamond block with a diamond in a frame on it you know and so you know it's got the jewelry i don't know i i like that i think it i think uh keeping the colors of the buildings okay and we have Two rows of tall buildings, right, on each side. So it kind of gives you that city feel, which is what it is, okay? And uh, especially in this medieval style, um, if you've ever been to actual medieval cities in Europe, this is, they, they have this similar claustrophobic kind of vibe. Now, I'm not saying they have this open shopping area underneath, uh, like I have here, but that's cool. That's cool. They don't need to, you know. That's kind of some. I don't want to say I invented that, but that's something that kind of that I kind of thought of that I thought would be neat and to have the buildings up on these, up on these pillars. But I think that's gonna be it for this Let's Build episode. I really do appreciate you guys checking it out. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you know, check out uh, Infinite Heights at play.infiniteheightsmc.com. Dudes, you come in and just walk around here say hey to me check these out for yourself go inside look around see what we did here head underneath uh head underneath underneath the wall platform here kind of walk around you know man you can check it out and you should because it's awesome it's pretty sweet and uh the community on there is really cool so you should uh you should get to know those people man uh if you're a new player or if you are a long time minecraft pro um, everybody's welcome here, so definitely check it out. Uh, for more information about it, head to infiniteheightsmc.com. Those are our forums. There's all kinds of announcements on there. Check out my YouTube channel for other Let's Builds, for Minecraft Let's Plays, for Infinite Heights server contest videos. Uh, we do a lot of build challenges and stuff like that that we record, uh, and I'm throwing them all up on here, man. It's going to be awesome, so definitely check it out. Again, I want to say thank you truly. I do appreciate every single view, every single comment every like and every sub thanks again dudes see you real duke and i'm out